In the early 2000s, the Lord of the Rings extended editions were the shining example of what DVDs could be. Now, nearly 20 years later, the Lord of the Rings makes its way onto 4K UHD, and I can personally confirm the king of home media has returned. Welcome to Nerd of the Rings. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe so you get a dose of Middle Earth every week. On December 1st, The Lord of the Rings makes its much anticipated 4K UHD debut. I was fortunate enough to get a review copy and since Friday, I have been spending my days in Middle Earth like I have never seen it before. In short, the results are incredible. <laughs> Woo! 4K! Oh, it's so good. In this review, we'll cover what's included in the set, the video quality, audio quality, and my final recommendation. The packaging itself features some beautiful artwork, which pairs perfectly with the Hobbit Trilogy 4K release. In this set, there are nine discs. The first three are the theatrical editions, while the remaining six are the extended editions, each film being split over two discs, as we've become accustomed to. This is great news because as the films are split onto two discs, that means they've been compressed less, which means there's better quality. Also included is a digital copy code for the entire trilogy in both theatrical and extended versions. Now onto the meat of the review, the video. How does it look? In short, the video quality looks fantastic. The reason for this is due to a huge restoration process, which was overseen by Peter Jackson himself. Now for a little background info here, when The Lord of the Rings was made, it was mastered in 2K, which was pretty standard at the time. So this means every version of Lord of the Rings that you've seen before, whether it was in theaters or on DVD or Blu-ray, or even that old Fellowship of the Ring VHS that you had, they were all derived from this 2K master. Now many 4K releases nowadays have simply taken their 2K master and upscaled it in order to get 4K, at least by definition. But rather than take the easy path here, Warner Brothers, Peter Jackson, and Weta have gone through a complete restoration process, involving a 4K scan of the camera negatives and VFX film outs. They've also done new color timing made possible by the new HDR technology. A notable result of this is that we no longer have the green tint on Fellowship of the Ring that we got during the Blu-ray releases. Now, rather than get into all the nitty gritty technical terms with everything dealing with 4K and how impressive this restoration process is, I'm gonna put some links in the description if you wanna read more on those topics. So the big question, what did I think of Lord of the Rings in 4K? I can't tell you how many times that I caught myself just grinning ear to ear while I was watching these films. Not only do those epic landscape helicopter shots look more jaw dropping than ever, but I was amazed at how much detail I picked up on in the small things. There were things that I saw so clearly in this edition that I had never even noticed before. Things like the pattern or stitches on people's clothes or the texture of swords and helmets. These things may have been there before, but they were never so crystal clear. I don't care what grading scale you use, but whatever it is, 10 out of 10, five stars, the video quality gets all of it. While the improved video quality will no doubt get a lot of attention with this, the improvements don't stop there. The entire trilogy has also received a new Dolby Atmos soundtrack remix specifically for a home theater experience. Now, I personally don't own surround sound, but I do have a fairly decent soundbar, and even I could tell that this new mix was really good. With previous releases with my same sound equipment, I had had issues where I would have to turn the volume down during loud parts because kids were sleeping, and I'd have to turn it up when people were talking quietly, and I didn't have that issue this time. Now that's not to say that the audio was flat by any means. The loud parts were still loud, the soft parts were still soft. It was just that I could understand it so much clearer. I was able to make out quiet bits of dialogue that I probably would have only noticed before if the subtitles had been on. Yet I felt adequately enveloped in those louder moments like Gandalf facing the Balrog and Helm's Deep and stuff like that. This is not only the release that made me take the plunge on 4K, but it'll probably be what makes me upgrade to surround sound as well, just because I can't wait to hear what all this audio track has to offer. Now, in an effort to not be biased because of my love of Lord of the Rings, I watched a few other 4K movies and TV shows just to compare. And I can honestly say Lord of the Rings goes toe to toe with anything else that I've watched. And we're talking movies that have been made within the last few years. And Lord of the Rings was made 20 years ago and it sticks right there with them. In the summer of 2021, Warner Brothers will be releasing the Middle Earth Ultimate Collector's Edition, which will feature new bonus content. 
Now, we don't know for sure what that will be. Um, a lot of us speculate that that could be deleted scenes that we've never seen before. So the big question we're all asking ourselves as fans is, do we go ahead and pick this up or do we wait for the ultimate edition in the summer? And as recently as my last live stream, I had said that my plan was to wait for the collector's edition. However, after seeing this in 4K with my own eyes, I can honestly say I'm really glad that I'm not having to wait six months to watch these. If you followed my channel for any period of time, you know that I'm a Lord of the Rings super fan and that these are my absolute favorite movies of all time. And so when I say what I'm about to say, I do not say this lightly but the 4K UHD release of The Lord of the Rings is the greatest thing to happen to these movies since the extended editions. And while I enjoyed having Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray because it was a bit sharper, a bit crisper, and it made better use of my HDTV, it wasn't the pinnacle of home viewing experience like Lord of the Rings was back in the days of DVD. Now, if you're one who decides to wait for the collector's edition, I totally get that. I guess it's up to each person individually, you know, how much are you going to watch those deleted scenes or whatever it is that we get on those special features. If you have a 4K TV already, this feels like a no-brainer. Unless you're just dead set on waiting for the collector's edition, um, the films aren't going to get any better than what they are in this package. For me, this 4K release of Lord of the Rings, it, it just puts the films back on top where they belong and it just earns my absolute highest recommendation. I can't say enough about what a great experience it was watching these in 4K. I wanna say a huge thank you to Warner Brothers. They sent me both trilogies so that I could review and share my thoughts with you guys. Um, I honestly can't wait to go back to Lord of the Rings and watch it again. Um, but first, I'm gonna continue my Middle Earth journey through the Hobbit trilogy. Um, I'll be having a review coming up very soon, hopefully tomorrow on that. Um, so be sure to hit subscribe um, so you don't miss that review. If you decide you're interested in purchasing this set, um, I have included links in the description. If you purchase through that, it does help out the channel. Aside from that, enjoy your time in 4K Middle Earth. I can tell you it is glorious. And uh, feel free to hit me up on social media and tell me how much you love it if you end up picking up this set. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. I absolutely loved it. I can't say enough about it. Um, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the Hobbit review. And we'll see you next time on Nerd of the Rings.